There are Morgans and then there are Morgans. The difference, well, when you add up 28, 28, 26, 13, and 1, add the eight tail feather, 97 coins, there are a few of them in that beautiful series that are just, well, untouchable most of the time. We're going to change that on two of them tonight. Great deal, great quality, and even better price. So the 1890s are that roaring time frame. The 1890s were roaring. A lot of industrial expansion. It was a fun time. The U.S. Mint also started making fewer Morgan dollars. It wasn't until later in the decade that they opened up buying more silver to make more dollars. And we usually go to 93 and 94 as the rare years, right? The 93S, the rarest of all time. Then you get the 93O, the rarest omen, 93P, right? Number three, a, a lot of coins that are just very special. But I take a pause and say dollars for donuts, right? 1892. Don't forget 1892. And here's what I mean. If you look at the mintage figures alone, it backs the narrative, right? The narrative is the Morgan dollars by mintage, how many were made, are ranked. And New Orleans struck 26 coins, Philadelphia struck 28 coins, and we're looking at a coin that ranks number 5 out of 28 on Philadelphia, and ranks number 4 out of 26 on New Orleans. Both top five coins. And then there becomes the challenge. And I've bumped into many of you over the years that shows. It's always a wonderful conversation. And I appreciate the conversations. And it's like, why can't I find this? Or I'm looking for this. Where is it? You know, the Red Book says it's not that expensive. Well, I wish we could buy from the Red Book, right? Ha, ha, ha. But sometimes there are just coins that just aren't out there. And the best part about the last 30 or 40 years is the fact that with NGC and PCGS, ANAX, ICG, all the grading services that have been out there helping us in this industry, giving us their independent opinions on the quality of coins. What they also do for us is chronicle what they see. And the chronicling of a lot of these coins from the 1890s opens up the eyes. If you're an older individual like myself and you've been doing this for 35, 40 years, actively going to shows, you know coins you're not going to find. Right? I'm not going to find a lot of 93S's. I'm not going to find a 96O. I'm not going to find a 93O. I'm not going to find a 92P or an O. And it's just because the mintages are smaller, but the frequency is even fewer. 40 years we've had that help. If we use just NGC as an example, one service, this is all they've seen. 92P, 6,285. 92O, 6,849. That is all coins. Not just circulated, not just uncirculated, everything. So it means they're not seeing anything of these two years, which just reaffirms why you're not seeing them on that great American coin hunt show to show yourself. Last time we had this pair was May of 2023. And it's because we buy one here, one there, one here, one there. It's also one of those coins where the jump from about uncirculated, and let's spend a minute on that, actually, thank you. Haven't got there yet. We call them super sliders because when I talk fast, about uncirculated coins or about uncirculated as a coin, it's the same actual words in the sentence, all a function of where I pause. Don came up with this years ago. It's about uncirculated for us is super slider. They slide by as unks. You look at them quickly, you know you got a nice coin. But do you have the holy grail, which is an uncirculated coin? And for many of these, an uncirculated condition, thousands and thousands of dollars. So it makes it a little bit more prohibitive to own top-notch coins. So we look at the about uncirculated category and we just look at it for circulated, 
about uncirculated and unc, and where do the prices fall? And when we can find coins where the jump from AU to unc is huge, a lot of money out of your pocketbook, we got a winner. And both of these are that. So again, a 53 to a 55 on the technical scale is what you're expecting to see out of these gorgeous super sliders. My competition, same coins. All north of $1,200 in unk, but they're all north of $700 in super slider. About uncirculated. You can buy both of ours, and not one of our competitors could touch the price, because they're all over 500 Just a special thing. Now again, you look at the coin fast, open, clean, the cheek isn't marked up much. You get a little over the earlobe, slight trace of wear, Liberty looks decent, all key indicators. You go to the outside and look at the reeded edge. Then you flip it over and you look at the middle. You, if you're familiar with the Morgan dollars, the 1890s, early 1890s, mid 1890s, horrible when it comes to detail reverse at Philadelphia. And New Orleans was the hand-me-down mint. They were the worst of all. San Francisco was the holy grail at that time. They made gorgeous coins. So slight traces of wear is, doesn't mean it's actually a circulated coin. It's just they weren't struck cleanly. So when you get some detail around the outside of the breast feathers, you got a good, beautiful coin. This is the O mint above the D and the O in dollar is that mint mark. Guys, I got to put a 30 second clock up. Thank you all for spending some time with us. Again, the competition north of 500 on either of these two. Uncirculated 1200 plus. Great stuff. Love the coin. Love the year. And this is one where all the dots of the I's, the crossing of the T's, comes together. Low mintage, crazy low pop, and I can't find them in unk. And how expensive is that about uncirculated coin? Well, tonight, we've turned it back a little bit. Again, May of last year's last time we saw this. Look at this price. These two are special. Your choice.